सावधान 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 ये जानकारी आपको भारतीय तटरक्षक की तरफ से दी जा रही है समुद्र में तूफान आ रहा है आपसे अनुरोध है कि आप नजदीकी बंदरगाह की तरफ चले जाएं। सावधान 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 Several places in Kolkata were waterlogged and air, rail and road transportation was disrupted by cyclone Rimal which hit the southern parts of West Bengal along with Bangladesh at midnight on Sunday. The severe cyclonic storm brought heavy rains and strong winds killing at least 4 people and snapping electric supply for millions of people before it weakened into a cyclonic storm. Over a million people were evacuated across Bangladesh and West Bengal. Power lines got cut, trees were uprooted, and high tides damaged several embankments. The railways cancelled several trains to and from places in West Bengal, and metro services were affected due to waterlogging as well. The Kolkata airport had, in fact, suspended operations for a whopping 21 hours. Three 94 flight schedules were affected. The last flight to depart from the airport was at 12:15 in the afternoon on Sunday, and after that, operations resumed only on Monday morning. The first plane to depart was an Indigo Kolkata to Port Blair flight at 8:59 a.m. and the first to land was a SpiceJet flight from Guwahati at 9:50 a.m. Though the process of flight operations has resumed, airport officials have said that it will take some time for the situation to become absolutely normal. Now restoration work is underway for the uprooted trees and disrupted communication lines and power outages. NDRF teams are deployed in various parts of West Bengal. The cyclonic winds that lashed Bangladesh were up to 120 kph inundating hundreds of villages before it moved northwards. <laughs> <laughs>